I always thought it'd be easy to remove a subject from a green screen and just looking online for the longest time and all these different tutorials, there just never seemed to be one that was really, really fast that did, you know, a pretty good job. So today I want to talk about a technique that I found that works really fast uh, to remove a green screen. Granted, it's not going to be, you know, the most perfect, but it's going to look pretty good. It's going to turn something like this into something like this. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned and watch this awesome technique on how to remove a green screen real fast. So let's cue that intro. All right, so we're gonna make this fast and quick, uh, probably under five minutes. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop right now and start that timer. So as you can see here, we got our model Johnny. Um, what we're gonna do is, and I always recommend this when we're working in Photoshop, is to create a duplicate layer just so that we could have something to fall back onto if something goes wrong. I'm gonna create another one too, just in case, you know, the one that we made as a duplicate goes wrong too. Um, so we got that open, I'm gonna hide one of them. This top one, what we're gonna do is we are going to, you know, literally do this maybe in like one click to get, you know, most of it gone. Um, we're gonna go up to select, and then we're gonna choose subject. And from here, we are going to see that the AI is kind of running and figuring out, okay, this is, you know, our subject right here versus, you know, this solid color background in the back. And then what I'm going to do too, just to clean it up a little bit more, even though it's already, you know, pretty good, I'm going to just find some areas where it can improve just a little bit and then just make, you know, the mask a lot more accurate, something like that. Yeah, everything else looks pretty good on that front. So once we're happy with it, we're going to hit this mask button down below and it's gonna create a mask. And we can see, you know, it already knocks out most of the green. So we're, we're really happy with this so far. I'm gonna add a slight feather to it just so that it blends in a little bit more with that background that we choose. So this background I chose prior is this one. Um, I can include a link to it in the description. I'm gonna copy it with Control C on PC and then paste it. And then it's going to show up right here. What we're going to do is I'm going to move it. I'm gonna make it bigger and move it behind our subject and something like that. I'm gonna move this layer behind our subject. And as we can see, you know, it looks pretty good so far. We got rid of most of the green, but there's still this kind of green hue around here. Uh, kind of a fast way to smooth that out and make it look a little bit better is by selecting that layer, choosing brush tool, and then choosing the mode hue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sample some air color from his hair um, by pressing alt, holding alt, and then selecting the color we want to copy, which is his hair. And we're gonna take the brush and then we're gonna brush it over, you know, those green areas. And look, it cleans up and kind of gets rid of that green pretty fast. So we're just gonna do that for most of the green areas. And as you can see, it's cleaning it up really, really good. It looks like, you know, most of the green, you know, is, is kind of gone with this hue tool. And then I'm going to sample some from the ear right here to remove the green from the ear. And look, that looks, you know, great right there. Another sample right here. And that is gone too, sampling the shirt probably right there, and this green is going to disappear for the most part. I think whatever is left over is pretty good. It makes it look like there's some sort of backlight to a shirt, um, so that you know ends up working fine. I'm gonna select some from right here as well and remove the green kind of hue from here. Awesome. 
And pretty much with that, it just looks, you know, a lot better than it did, you know, before. We got rid of, you know, a lot of this green hue that was there that made it, you know, look like you were using a green screen. We're not trying to make it look like we're using a green screen. We're trying to make it as natural as possible. And I think this does it in the fastest way. There's a lot of other ways, you know, to do this, but I find this to be a really fast and a pretty effective way in doing it. As you can see, most of the green is gone. We look at, you know, the before image. This was the before, and then this is the after. Definitely looks a lot better. And I think one of the things that, you know, made this whole process of figuring out how do I find tutorials for this a little bit harder was that it's not really just called removing a green screen, uh, getting rid of a green screen, because that name is way too long. The actual kind of term for, you know, what this is, is called compositing. Compositing is pretty much when you take, you know, multiple images and you put it together to make, you know, one final image. And that's kind of what this thing was. We were taking our subject who was in a green screen and we put them, you know, right in front of another background of our choosing. So you could do it, you know, with the background that I had here. You could do it with another one online. You could even do it, you know, with those ones that, you know, school photographers use with that, you know, boring, you know, classic, you know, blue and like rough textured backdrop. So that's pretty much it for today. A quick little tutorial. Hope you liked how fast it was and how simple it was. If you did, make sure to press that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on more kind of tutorials like this, as well as vlogs and future adventures. And then comment down below if you have any thoughts on, you know, future videos that you wanna see, as well as any questions, you know, in regards to this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. have like a little cut end scene where literally the background disappears and this is secretly a green screen but we're low budget here so make sure to like this video and subscribe to help us get there to get that kind of content.